Welcome to Fireteam Chat, IGN's Destiny Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Joining me today in the studio is CJ Gibson. What's up? We did it. Brian Malkowitz. Yo, 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 what up? Brian, <laughs> you got some shades on today. I'm not used to all this lighting, man. My eyes hurt. That is true. <laughs> I'm used to being in a dark closet. You were yeah. you were away from the studio for too long and now yeah. rocking the aviator. Yep. No. So ta-da, if you're if you're listening. We are in a new studio. It is the best thing you have ever seen. No other show has a studio like this anywhere uh. online. <laughs> we are in a mansion. There's backlighting. It is the most gorgeous thing. And if you're actually watching, just play along. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's how do you feel being it's a pretty nice. Yourself? Yeah. It's fine. Is it okay? We were yeah, gonna, this is how we used to do it in the studio. It is, but we were going to try initially to have you in the center and me over there, which we might do only for one reason. Destin, just do a quick shoulder check behind you. Do you see the best class of all time right there? You're in the way, Destin. You're in the in the hunter zone Here? right there. Right there. There's the a hunter, hunter right next to the TV, and, and there's a ghost, ghost right above That's it. Yeah. Oh, I see it. I see yeah, it. I see yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't so. actually taken the time to admire the artwork. But, yeah, we are cool. in the new studio. We're fresh back from Guardian Con, at least two of us are. Sorry, Brian. A lot oh, of people good. asked about you there. FOMO. That's yeah. Good. Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of people yeah. saying, hey, they really At least people care, and if you're listening, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, thank you to everybody who talked to us, who came to our panel. It was much appreciated. It was awesome. Yeah. 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 A lot of, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy when you ever, you do those big groups, um, in front of a live studio audience and after you get a chance to talk to people. So really appreciate it. It was, uh, every time, yeah, we pack one of those, um, you know, uh, conference areas. It still seems really weird to me. So definitely appreciate everybody coming and saying hi. Seems like you guys had a good turnout too. Yeah. It yeah. was good. Yeah, it, was it, was a, it was a packed room. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it was, was really cool. some people Gathal standing in the back. Feel bad for them, but yeah. 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 Gathalian, bro man, saying it right now. We want to be more involved <laughs> with the <laughs> fundraising part. Absolutely. That that's yeah. the one thing every year because it's like right around E three. Yeah. It's it's been really challenging for us. So I'm just like I'm just gonna block out that part of my calendar and try and have a conversation with those guys and yeah. get more involved. I want to help raise money for the sick kids. Yeah, man, it was you crazy. Know? I mean, I can't remember the final total, but I think four it's million just shy of plus. Four, four million. million. Yeah, no, like they, they, they ended up breaking four million. Like wow. their their goal stream, they were at three point seven. Yeah, wow. but eventually they did go over four. That's crazy, man. The Destiny that community is, so awesome. is hungry to help. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Guardian Con was great. Then we come back from Guardian Con, and there is a lot going on in Destiny. Yes, we had a new. Event open up. We have the Moments of Triumph, right? Yep. Back again. Yep, back again. And Bad Juju is here. The real players in the office got it. Oh, there it is. Little. <laughs> hey, you like this studio? Oh, and shade like this studio? Immediately. <laughs> but he did get a chance to play it on my account. I did. I logged on specifically for this because there was a couple people who uh, I'll find the person who is tweeting us out saying, hey, you know, what do you guys like? Uh, mm -hmm. How are you feeling about it in PvE, PvP? It's a good chance to play both. It's pretty solid. Yeah, I, I used it a bit. I I think it's okay. Were you a fan of it in D1, though? Nope, never used it. Okay, oh. so that's the thing. I think some of the caveat is whether or not you gravitated towards that weapon in D1. I actually liked Red Death, I think, overall. Yes, more I so. loved Red Death. Yeah, and I think that you were probably in like the Bad Juju or Red Death camp at the time because those metas were very similar. But it, Bad Juju is good. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, so the thing that we realized that's very different, that's super cool, is the reload animation. Do you hear the crunching yeah. sound of bones when you reload it? <laughs> so we had to we actually because I haven't used bad one uh, bad juju in mm -hmm. since D one and it's been a long time. So I was yeah. like, was that sound there? So we loaded up like some old not. videos and like it's just a normal pulse rifle reload like sound. The animation isn't actually different. It's like the same it's animation the sound. reload, but the sound with the animation is just like some weird like <laughs> crackling and crunching. And it's just like oh, oh. it's kind of like it's kind <laughs> of unsettling. But like when you're when there's not a lot of like stuff going on around you and you mm -hmm. reload, and it's just like. <laughs> It's actually really cool. Yeah. I didn't notice that, but I like that a lot. Yeah. That's, that's so really, really subtle neat. Subtle details like nails on a chalkboard, though. You're kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah, there's also there also seems to be there's been a couple of reports of it. Uh, there being a very, very unique, very rare, like necrochasm-esque explosion mm. that happens when you're using bad juju. Just randomly? Yeah. Like, like there's mm. been like a couple of videos of people grinding out the Whisper mission. And they were just, you know, they would shoot, you know, those, you know, the infinite spawning thrall and mm. there would be an explosion. Like necrochasm, it's you know like a green yeah. high vesk explosion that you know, and it just you know, and it's very the aesthetic matches bad juju. So people are calling it a bug, but it looks too bad mm. juju esque, too to purposeful. Be, too, it looks too purposeful. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, so, how do you guys feel about the way that you obtain it? Because this is this is my only sort of like odd sticking point with it. It was really easy to get. Yeah. Basically, you open a chest, and then if you really have easy the materials. 
if you have the materials, you just go buy it basically and you get it. I, I decided to stop for the catalyst because I'm like, wait, is this going to close? Then no, I'll wait till I get the 80% discount. Then I'll get the catalyst because I'm not really going to use this weapon that often yeah. unless like all of a sudden we find out it's the best gun in the game, which it's not. Like, yeah, I, I it's good, but yeah. it's not like the best. You don't need the catalyst immediately. No. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, it's going to probably have its uh, purposes. Mm -hmm. But that's what. Uh, so Brian and I were talking real quick. Is just thinking of you know what would be the benefit of this weapon and do you need it right away i mean i think it's a little bit of fomo do honestly. you need it right away no, no. yeah no. you can absolutely wait yeah. so if you're limited on materials yeah, or resources not... just grind out the actual triumphs because you do get the the items to yeah it's not to tied acquire. to any you know triumphs or seals or anything like that so there's yeah. no rush in getting it so yeah. you know you're not going to feel behind if you don't get it i think the coolest thing about bad juju's return is actually the other side of mission mm -hmm. like uh, uh, aside it from it being an ascendant realm leviathan mission um it uh, it's replayable infinitely so you yeah. can just you know load up the tri um the tribute hall and load up this mission and in this mission there's moments uh there's a moment in the mission where like taken dogs mm -hmm. spawn infinitely yep and you can so that that's going to be a great mission that we can use to just have for grinding out catalysts and other mm -hmm. things that are just like super grind heavy. We've woken it, the dogs. We've woken the dogs. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, you know what else is kind of great? The fact that the the room where you put all of your you know trophies that you get to unlock the the characters, you can activate them and then you can use them for target practice. So yep. in a way, we ended up getting a oh, target oh, practice yeah, room, it, a it, DPS it, check an, yeah. an unofficial <laughs> firing range, basically, because mm -hmm. once you once you activate them, they just infinitely spawn. Mm -hmm. They don't shoot back. They just stand there. They look at you whichever direction you're you're moving around. So yeah. So when you want to test out stuff, just load up Tribute Hall, activate all these monsters, and then you got them. Boom. Yeah, that's really cool. there. I like that a lot. Uh, I, I think somebody like other people probably made that connection right away. But I really really love that we just have a place where stationary ads will spawn. Yeah. And you can do your DPS checks. Yeah. Those yeah. were those were the things that I remember um, when Division Two launched. Doug and I asked Doug in that, and he was bringing me into the. Um, the firing range and that was one of the features that it had and i was like dude for mm -hmm. I, I always wanted a space like that either in the tower or something to be able to do that so that's super cool so we're getting there yeah it's not exactly there. it's not it like because like you it can't control like it the, doesn't go into as detailed as divisions two right firing right goes yeah. with a dps check but mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you'll have to count the numbers yourself yeah but, yeah but people are doing it in yeah. regular pve activities so there's mm -hmm. definitely a nice controlled space so yeah definitely um mm -hmm. The other side. So the quest, you go into it. You're muff, CJ. Yeah. Okay. So truth be told, uh, what I'm doing is basically uh, I knew you guys purchased it right off the bat, and so I have been grinding out all the daily bounties so I mm -hmm. can because I I don't have a crap ton of resources. I, I remember looking at your um, um, your legendary shards, and what are you at? Like a few thousand. I'm at like 4k. Yeah. I, I, I that was sounds, at 4k. That might seem like a lot to you, but there are players out there who probably have like triple that maybe yeah. even more that's crazy and, and so here's the thing so i have probably about four thousand um gunsmith tokens about four or five thousand crucible tokens so i could get lots of legendary shards i just mm -hmm. don't bother so right now i think i'm usually always sitting around like three to four hundred yeah mm -hmm. I have until tons. i go to spider and then yeah. yeah i have tons of resources i need to burn through anyway um and i think that's bungie's intention yeah. they're just like let's just give them an easy way to burn all these materials that they're sitting on for those players. Materials are going to become an end game issue in Shadow Keep, I bet. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm like, all right, make them burn all these yeah. materials and yeah. plant Shadow Keep, and <laughs> everybody's dry. They have nothing. <laughs> yep. I, I am a little concerned that I, that's why I stopped <laughs> for the catalyst. I'm like, all right, I got like 2,000 legendary shards. I can buy all the other materials from Spider for yeah. legendary shards. So I'm going to be okay there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to spend any more, though, because I could just do the triumphs and get the 10 that I need yes. or just wait until I get the appropriate discount. Yeah. By the way, the discount thing is sort of working weird. You're only supposed to be able to get four a day, but you can do 12 of them. Yeah, on multiple characters. I was yeah. reading that, and, and I, I saw like that on a couple other people saying that they're they're not sure if it's you know what the percentage and how it's rating right now. So, again, we don't want to quote on how that's actually working. Well, Bungie out. said you're supposed to be able to do four exactly. per day. Yeah. Per, per account? Per day. But that's what I mean. Does For that does that wide. does yeah, that yeah, account wide. to like mm -hmm. the amount of percent that it is? So regardless, I'm gonna wait pretty much until the very end, and I'm I've done all four of them every day. So once I hit yeah. like day twenty, then the yeah, max percentage I think mm -hmm. is what it works out to, and then uh, yeah, then bye bye bye. Yeah. So just keep yeah. turning those in. Keep grinding. Percent. I think there's a triumph for getting the full eighty percent discount actually. Uh right, and that's mm -hmm. I think the other reason why I'm just gonna do them. You mm -hmm. know, I'm gonna keep doing them at a 
at a regular yeah. pace. Uh, real quick, before so, we move on, Bad Juju and the weapons, do you want to talk about them? Have you used them much in PvP and PvE or no? Yeah, I, I mean, we already talked about Bad Juju well, and said it's fine. A, a little bit, but yeah, within the context of the meta, like for PvP, I actually really liked it. I just started playing with it on Brian's account. And mm -hmm. I think what's neat with both of these is there's little sub meta games within the context of actually acquiring the weapon. So what's the um, the effect called on Bad Juju again? String uh, of Curses. String of Curses. Yeah. So it lasts for about three seconds. Just being able to play off that, even in PvP, is actually kind of cool. It's full auto. It feels really good. And then Lumina, same thing. Um, Noble Rounds. Thank you. Noble yeah. Rounds. Um, yeah, that part, I think that people are going to experience cool moments later on once you have maybe people playing together and stringing a bunch of those. It's just maybe really trolly. That's really cool, though. I, I like those. Well, Lumina doesn't too. stack. No, it doesn't stack. but And just, it also overwrites a lot of other powerful combinations. Right, and so that's what I mean. I think that we might know a not 100% of what it's capable of doing now, but once there's other things and activities that come out later on, I think it'll be pretty cool. I think it'll be something that people will figure things out later on once... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, once it's in the meta for a little bit. So. I think I think both of the weapons are just they're interesting and they're sort of neat to mess around with. Yes. I, I don't see them being abused though. I don't I don't think they're game breaking. I think they're just good. Yeah. Not ridiculous like the way grenade launchers are right now. Right, right. Like grenade, grenade launchers, spike grenades are still. I think like the I think it thing. says a lot that when I got those weapons, I tried them out. They're fun. I liked them. Mm -hmm. They're cool. I'll probably use them, you know, when I feel like breaking up, you know, what I'd normally do. But yeah. When when I go to, you know, because the first thing I do when I get a, a, a new exotic weapon or something like that is I, try I, lo out. I load up a Trost Land. I hope that the Cabal are infinitely spotting there <laughs> so I can test out the weapon. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, cool, that was fun. And then when I'm actually going to play the game to go out grind for stuff, I switch back to Mountaintop. I switch back yeah. to Recluse. Yeah. And then I just continue from there. And I'm like, well, that just says a lot about, yeah. maybe says more about those two guns. Yeah. But Let me ask you guys this. What's your current loadout? Mine is Outbreak Perfected, mm -hmm. Recluse, and then usually a heavy machine gun or, yeah, a heavy machine gun. Yeah, yeah Black Hammer. It's, yeah. it's, for me, it's, like I said, Mountaintop, Recluse, and then depending on, depending on the activity, like it'll probably be Wendigo or uh, 1K Voices or yeah. Delirium, 21% mm -hmm. Delirium. Yeah. So it's weird. Oh, I'm I've been using, I use Delirium for a lot of stuff actually because of the stack. Yeah. yeah. So it's weird because, I mean, I'm sort of the same for PvE, but then when I'm playing for PvP, I really like rock on a primary sniper. So that's what I was talking about. I've been playing a lot with um, uh, um, Bite of the Fox, mm -hmm. again, trying to get um, what role do you Provoker. Have uh, hidden Hand. Uh, well, sorry. Moving Target <laughs> as the D2 Hidden Hand. And then um, uh, what's the other perk? I'm, I'm, I'm blending two other snipers together. Um, what does it do? What's its function? It, it's basically... Um, uh, oh, and then drop mag, so I can speed reload. As oh, honest, that's yeah, bad honestly. on a sniper. Isn't I don't, it? I, I don't. Because you throw away all your ammo. I don't mind it because when you have reserves, I end up getting a lot of ammo anyways. Mm -hmm. And so I really like in PvP right now that you're able to actually um, kind of like farm people from range because they're trying to usually get sniper kills right now too because of the pinnacle weapon. So mm -hmm. you have this. That's what I was saying last week. It's nice that you have a bit of a a sniper meta because of these things. And and I, I like the fact that yeah, with those activities it encourages people to use a bunch of different weapons during the season so mm -hmm. uh but yeah i'm i'm digging that for mostly and i still like honestly i still like luna's Hal. i have a hard time not using a hand cannon in pvp so <laughs> still really still good. have yet to get luna's Hal. yeah i'm still oh really yeah i'm not oh, i'm not that not it's like I'm, I'm not a pvp yeah. guy and i'm not yeah. that great at it so like if i win I, I would just have a bad time if i just yeah loaded it up but to you have it i like ace finger though ace is still good and that's ace is solid I, too yeah. that's how i did the lumina quest yeah lumina uh Ah, uh, so waiting for Lumina. you to do that. There's a few other people. We did a little uh, survey. We might try to edit it later about to people. So Lumina and Lumina. Lumina. Yeah, there's a couple different pronunciations of it going around. But uh, Going back to Bad Juju for a second, what did you think of the mission? So I did it solo. I ran through it. I died like twice. I could probably solo it, but it's tough. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's not, not that, easy. yeah, it's not an easy mission per se, but there's no fail condition. Yeah. Like, you, I was you surprised. Died. I died and I was like, oh, no. Oh, wait. Yeah, you just respawn and you're like, yeah. Oh, okay. No darkness zone. There's no darkness. No. Yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no fail condition. So yeah. if, you, if, you just, if you just keep playing it, you're going to eventually get it because, yeah. So you like that or you don't like that? Well, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> I feel fair. Makes it easier on me. I feel yeah. indifferent about it because there okay. is a triumph for doing it solo without dying. Yeah. And I oh, mean, okay. So extinguish just doesn't. It doesn't extinguish. So you just reload it. Gotcha. You, know, you back out. I hope there would be again. extinguishes. I don't want to start that mission from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that'd yeah. be brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, so but there is a triumph to do it um, yeah. without dying. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like that's 
that's maybe kind of the best of both worlds mm -hmm. in a way. Like, would you want it to be super difficult to the point that you had to start over? over no, and I'm not indicating that in any way. No, I know, but that's what I'm wondering. Like, mm -hmm. what what would, because you feel, when you say you're indifferent, not positive or negative, what would make it better? I think it's it's cool. I'm glad that we have another mission. It's not bad. I'm not like, like, I did it. It's over. <laughs> There's not a lot of incentive to replay it right now. Destin's on the, the roller yeah. coaster down. When you, no, when no, you, no, when no, you no. need to start grinding like, things like, yeah. like the catalyst, then that mission will come like real in handy for that. Yeah, right, right. and I like that I have another place to do that. I like that it reuses assets because we've talked about that. I'm playing through it, and I was like, they're reusing assets. I've wanted them to do this for so long because they mm. have all these fantastic areas that have right, been explored. Right. And being able to go back to them in a new new with new set of eyes. Yeah. I almost said new light. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's coming. Yeah. With a new set of yeah, eyes. This is the first time we've been like to cool. the ascendant realm on the Leviathan, right? Like mm -hmm. the raid didn't have that. No. no, there was no other activity that had the ascendant realm, right? Yeah. On Leviathan. Nope. And you know what? It was just challenging enough. Uh, I, I, I do really like, like the space. I like the mission just generally, but now that I've completed it, my incentivization to go back, like I'm kind of tempted to do, the the flawless run because it, it's easy to load up right. it's not like curse week where it's once a week and yeah, yeah. you know you kind of gotta run to it so that's cool mm -hmm. uh the um uh, yeah i was gonna say something along the same lines oh uh for for new light just going back to that i think that that's what i'm excited to see as well too like to see these kind of spaces like archer's line and all these other areas from the moon and to see how they evolve uh in the game coming up as well too because i think that is really cool i like that personally like i loved mm -hmm. in rise of iron when we went back to um, you know, where you fought Sepix there. Um, yeah, yeah. And then also ultimately that became a uh, social space. And then they even furthered that in Destiny 2 when it became a map. So I, I like all those little nods to previous experience. Yeah, I, th it was, that was one of the fun, one of the things that I thought about in Destiny 1 is like, I went, uh, when year three was coming around in Destiny 1, I was like, I was like, Bungie, I cannot <laughs> patrol the Cosmodrome anymore. <laughs> I'm so over it. I'm yeah. so over it. And then they announced Rise of Iron, and I'm like, they figured out how to pull me back in. <laughs> yeah, they exactly. did it. I guess I'll go patrol the Cosmodrome. Little snow. And, yeah. <laughs> Different I, space. I have to ask you guys, so what are you working on right now? Because for me, I mean, it's probably going to be those those triumphs that will give me free statues to put in I for a little bit. I am one triumph away from getting Shadow. Mm -hmm. So I just need to complete the Flawless, flawless Raid. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then I'm still working on Moment of Triumph. Um, I only have a few things to do for Moment of Triumph, and I'll complete that. But we can't get the title until... Yeah, I think Solstice of Heroes because there's two missing mm -hmm. triumphs on that, so yeah, I don't know what they are. They also patch the raid problem, so you have a better chance of yeah, doing yeah, the one. Brian. Yeah, that's why I was waiting. I was like, I'm not doing this until that was the same thing yeah. with Last Wish. It was like, I'm not doing this until guitar is fixed. Yeah, like, there's yeah. no way I'm right. doing this <laughs> and like getting all Long the way time. through it, and all of a sudden you get guitar. booted because yeah, twang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's your guitar. Or yeah. okay. you what, yours is working to 750, right? Uh, yeah, working to 750, almost there. Uh, um, <laughs> I know it's subtle. I'm, I'm trying my best here. This is uh, no, I no, I know. I think <laughs> I, I know. I know it, you're saying. It almost I'm, sounded. It almost <laughs> sounded like you were like so plain faced. It almost you sounded did, a little you condescending. You did good. You did good <laughs> like, holding the smile. <laughs> There, was, there I, was nothing there. I know it almost it sounded like it was. You yeah. know what I was saying? Yeah, no, I got you. You heard it too, but I looked at it and I was like, oh, wait, he's not being condescending right <laughs> no, now. No, he's being serious. Like, oh. Right. Dad life. I, um, I, I to you for being legitimate. Like, right, right before Guardian Con, I got all my characters to 750. <laughs> All of them. Now, now so I know what good. that grinds like. Yeah, you know? okay. But well, menagerie, so, dude. Yes. Like once you get around 740, yeah. 548. I think 48, I can get the rest of your slots that you need. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm around like 730 something now. So now it's grinding out. Yeah, Ostringer rolls and then Revoker, I almost have for like sniper PvP kills. Um, well, I'm saying though, with the chalice and everything, you can just get your powerful drops in the exact slot you want if you put in the yeah, right recipe. Yes, so. absolutely. Yeah. And so that's what I like about it. So now, yeah, I'm doing a bunch of things just casually. So here's the thing: like, I am definitely not a grinder like you guys are. I don't. I can't just go into Destiny and just play PvP for like five hours. Naturally, I will or play PVE. I was, say, I was like, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, I can play PvP for five hours. So if there's something to do in PvP, yeah, I almost got the Revoker in one sitting because I'll play PvP for five or six hours and just not sure where the time went. Like, I can grind Rumble for hours for no other reason, mm -hmm. just the fact that I like it and I'm testing out weapons and playing like that. So, uh, but then from the PvE standpoint, yeah, like there's things that I'm just doing now. Yeah, mostly Triumphs and, um, mm -hmm. you know, I'm trying to get bad Juju and other things yeah. like that, so. So I'm stressed out about Destiny right now. <laughs> and there, there's one 
really simple reason. Okay. My inventory is a disaster. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it okay. is so it bad right now. Yeah. It, I, at some point, I have to put it on you, man. I walked, by your, vault desk some today. I, I walked by your desk today and saw your Destiny Item Manager open, and you had like 30 Ostringers in there. Because Pick I was, one. Because I was doing the farm, and I'm yep. like, Teddy, like, what role am I going yeah, for yeah. on this thing? <laughs> exactly. Because like, while the farm was available, I was just get as many as you can. Yeah. And now I have to go through, and I'm like, okay, I know I need accurized rounds, and I need... A lot of range on the gun. See, what I do and, uh, the is... The storm like, is good, but is it better than snapshot? The, the yeah, thing is, is that you just have to be yeah. proactive about that. Like, I got one trench barrel on the shotgun. I'm one. Ooh, yeah. No, it's fine. It's That's all I wanted. When Te And Teddy was saying this. He actually... You know, people probably know who he is now since he was on the show in, in person. Uh, he grinded, I think, like four or five hundred. I don't want to quote mm -hmm. him. But anyways, he grinded like five hundred of something trying to get trench mm -hmm. barrel. And, and didn't only, get his role. Yeah, and only got, I think, one or two. So the yeah. percentages are really low for some of those perks. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, yeah I'm stressed. And I hate that my inventory gets this bad because I want to keep at least one of everything, right? Yeah. I have like two go figures that are really good, two dukes that are really good. And there's a few guns that I just kind of hold on to just in case I ever like actually play PvP. But... It, it's not a fun experience where I literally can't play the game Collection because I have game. to do two hours of inventory management. Is dupe is Titan junk junk? That one's good. I need a grenade launcher. Roll That's the real on. game. This is why I'm like, do. Uh, this is why I always just do inventory management in between everything. Yeah. If I'm flying somewhere, inventory management. <laughs> always. You know, what? I, I hate I, it. I let my postmaster do the inventory management. Yeah. Here, here's the problem, though. I had like a god roll. Um, uh, you think I'm bad? Let's I know. Open CJ's I, I'm the worst. I have, I have never had an inventory <laughs> problem in Destiny just because I just inventory management in the down times. Yeah, I, I had like a, I think, a play of the game with spike grenades and then uh, procs in the same column. Mm. And so I could have switched them back and forth. And then I had, I think, um, uh, I think it was quick draw and a couple others. And I was like, oh, I got to make sure I hang on to this. And I left it in, I, I, it was probably like item 20 of 30 in the postmaster. Mm -hmm. Then I went grinding menagerie and doing oh, a bunch of things. No. And I was like, no. You come back <laughs> and then it pushes it's it out. full of blues. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh, dear God, make yeah. the blues go away. For a while there, though, I did have that, I kind of did have that same issue in, um, with the postmaster because I had I had a bunch of, it, it kind of worked in my favor because I'm not really using modulus reports anymore yeah and so they've just been sitting they in my stack postmaster. now they stack now yeah but up to like 15 and then like but I mean no like, no, no 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 I have 64 stacked in my inventory really I don't know if it bugged out or what but hmm. thank God <laughs> <laughs> I, you can't do that because it's been sitting they've been sitting in my I'll show my you post yeah I'll show, show you later. I was super happy yeah because like <laughs> they sit in my yeah. postmaster at 15 and I can't I can't pull them in my, my inventory because I have 15 in my inventory yeah. Mm. So then I went to the menagerie. I forgot that they were in there, and then I got a bunch of things, and then like it just pushed them out. And I'm like, eh. yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I think that it's happened with okay. my warlock. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. that's that's the only thing. I do want to see your stack, though. I don't yeah. believe you. I'll show you. I was surprised. I was like, did it bug or did they fix it? That sounds like a bug mm. to me. They, Interesting. It's so weird. Like, there's a lot of problems right now in Destiny with that sort of stuff. Like, I have so many gambit tokens. Yeah. I have three stacks of some of the gambit tokens, and I'm like, I can't consume them. Yeah. We, how do I? Maybe I haven't read online about how to get rid of those things fast. No, yeah. the the gambit. Like, are you talking about the synths? Yeah. yeah. No, the the like coins that you get. Yeah, the the synths that you. How do I get you, rid of them? You go to the drifter, and he he does material exchanges. Or some, not material. So Good. Does something. I think it breaks them down for glimmer or something like that. Yeah. I Great. It but well, there's my glimmer because yeah. I need glimmer right now. But uh, the pursuits tab is the same. Like, I don't know how many times when I pick up bounties, complete bounties, my brain wants to go to where the chalice is. And, mm -hmm. and when I have to search for it every time, I'm like, oh, oh dear I, God. The pursuits. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I mean, Why is it so but it, bad? But it, it would honestly, it really wouldn't be that bad if we just had a hot button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or so in Destiny Two, you bring it up and then you gotta go over there, and yeah. then if you go back using the normal way, it doesn't do it on that page. Yeah. You gotta click it. You gotta go through, and it I think it was lock. fine where it's, it was. It's a cumbersome UI. It is, and I think I think that um, that and that's the problem with the pursuits and the quests all kind of being jumbled in there together. While you can organize them, you have to do it each time. Mm -hmm. In Destiny 1, the way the progress tab worked is, for the most part, that stuff was always in the same spot because mm -hmm. they actually mm -hmm. stacked, and then you, you would you know tab over to it, and it would always be in the same position. So I wish there was a little bit more work that they could do in that regards for mm -hmm. tweaking that. Because, yeah, honestly, I, I spend probably like a good 30 seconds each time looking for the chalice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just 
going, oh, okay, this was where it was in my mind 10 seconds ago, and then, but yeah. whatever. Small. Very often I still hit I on the keyboard. Oh, it yeah. It helps to go to the pursuit tabs, I tab over, and I'm like, oh, nope. Yeah. I do it all anymore. the time now. Yeah, I, has, I still haven't gotten used to it. Oh, it's only been like, what, like one month, like a <laughs> yeah. month or something. It's not been, been there, bad. but I, I did the same thing with the friends list and the roster. For the first little bit, I would always hit the start button in Destiny 1, mm -hmm. and now. And tab over. Yeah, and tab over. Mm -hmm. And then now it's kind of in the directory menu, and you have yeah, to yeah, yeah. like that. So it's still kind of old habits dying hard. But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, those are, I think that those are things that, yeah, they, but they have tweaked them, even with like triumphs and all the rest of that stuff. You can see them, obviously you know, making those things better over time. But in that, yeah, your brain becomes accustomed to one thing yeah. and then you kind of just like got to figure it out over time. But So to recap the episode, stressing about inventory. <laughs> you want more vault space ultimately. <laughs> yeah. But you can break stuff down now. If you actually break down a lot of those, I know you were talking about, oh, it's like a 10 power, 10 light or whatever. But you can break down a lot of your, um, your Eververse items. Mm -hmm. And then those are things that are going to be now considered as, you know, um, <laughs> what are we calling it? Transmog? No. What are we actually? It's Transmog. Oh, no, no. It was a... Uh, <laughs> we what can't was, even remember the name. What was the name Come of up it? with a oh, name. Oh, dang it. I forgot what it was. Oh, man. This yeah. is bad. Anyways, whatever uh, cosmetic function. Mm -hmm. What? Ornament. Ornamentation. Ornamentation. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's going to, you know, relieve a Thank lot of Thank you for stuff. shutting at the TV. It, we got it in our brain. <laughs> and, like, we remembered it because you guys were yelling. That's right. In or the future. <laughs> ornamentation. Yeah. So, anyway, ornamentation. stress yep. about Vault Space. Uh, bad Juju is back. Yep. We like the quest. Yeah. CJ, CJ likes it in PvP and PvE. Um, yeah. Seem to be digging it. Yeah, I think for the most part. The weird thing is... CJ thinks Lumina is going to become overpowered. Say it again, know, I, I think that there's going to be some kind of weird meta that might arise over time. in the. Uh, Say the name of the gun again. Bad Juju. No. No. no Lumina. No, no. Lumina. <laughs> <laughs> um, bad, bad juju is actually it feels good we were talking about major pulse rifles in destiny 2 right now um blast furnace is still probably like top meta for pulse rifles what else are you using in, in destiny 2 for meta yeah that's probably it that's probably for one pulse of the, rifles yeah i mean they're still did you say blast furnace yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i mean blast furnace that's, i mean nothing probably i'm sure top. people are still using clever dragon and all that stuff so clever dragon's d1 Jesus, yeah, what's the what's the what, is, what's the one from the, the what's the pulse rifle that came in a Iron Gold Banner? Figure? No, Iron Banner. There's a pulse rifle. A new one? Yeah, I'm not. Something sure. with a wolf. Claws? Right, Claws of the wolf. Oh, yeah, are people right. still using that in PvP? I don't know. I don't know. It's high rate of fire, but no. Okay, so, I don't think so. But pulse rifles are pretty good. Clever but they, I don't think they will ever, unless they do some major buff damage to them. Uh, I mean, yeah, Clever Dragon D1. Um, hopscotch version. hopscotch d1 what are you guys even talking yes about right now? We're, we're, PDF, yeah, we're, talking, we're talking about we're just talking about all the weapons that were pulse that we remember and hawksaw hawksaw was actually a really oh, good oh, one oh, oh grasp of malik and grasp of mm. malik that was probably the one that people farmed the most so i don't know if yeah bad juju will be a return to a pulse rifle meta i don't think so but it feels good like it's, it's fun to actually get uh back playing with some of those weapons that red you death will be the return Nah, man, you crimson, got you got, man. you got your crimson. Yeah, yeah, that's all you're not, gonna get. It's not the same. I, I feel like sure. I feel like at this point, if if Bungie brings back Red Death, does that kill Crimson? Crimson is dead. No when did, you, when have who's busted? Sorry, out I mean, I mean, I mean, exactly. I, yeah. I mean, like dead completely. Like you might as well just remove it from the game. That's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's already pretty bad. I don't know. If, I mean, some people. What's that like gun? It, I said at Guardian. I bet you're not busting it out for sweet dips. The, uh, the uh, exotic. Sweet dips. I remember when you said Woo. that. The exotic I don't like that from term. the. Oh, which one is it? Scourge. Again? Yeah. Hey, I still like I using that during the um, during the Arbus? encounter on no. no in 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 um. What's what's the the raid? Not the raid. The Shattered Throne. Yeah, I like using it in the part where you can't heal and all the thralls spawn at you, and you so you don't mm -hmm. heal. But the crimson will heal you if you kill those thralls. Oh, I wasn't talking about. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was I was going okay, back okay, to that. Okay, yeah. But anyway, good call, Brian. Anyway, that's all we have for this week. It's a little bit of a lighter week, not a ton of news. I think we're gonna get more in the coming weeks, though, especially leading into Gamescom. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Let us know what you think of the new studio. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And on that, um, yeah, we may or may not be doing Fireteam Chat uh, next week. Brian and I are at Gamescom. I know you're not. And next then, week we're at Comic-Con. Or Sorry, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. Getting ahead of myself. Comic-Con, and then I might even be uh, taking a little bit of a holiday after that. So I'm not sure about the... Um, uh, me being on the show, and unless we, uh, you guys do one uh, the week after, but yeah, we're both out of the office for Comic Con next. I might Friday. be able to make it work, but if I don't, you know what happened at CJ's and Brian's fault. It's all our fault. Definitely their fault. <laughs> but for this episode, until next time, everybody, Guardians, Guardians out. out.